is Tara, and I'm here to give you my pros and cons. I do this uh, either at the end of the month or the beginning of the month, and it's all the books uh, I've read by pros and cons. I may do uh, some, what's the, uh, the synopsis, but I really don't, I really don't do that. I just give you the pros and cons of each book, um, and also what I'm currently reading. I don't do a uh, to be read videos because I'm such a new reader it doesn't work out and end up reading other books then that's on the list um so here so here here we go with the um the books I read I have my handy dandy notebook and the first book I've read uh, is Watership Down by Richard Adams the prose is an epic journey of rabbits. They go on a really epic journey. Fable tales it rub into the book that parallel of their journey. So um and it's also a children's classic. It's considered a children's classic. The the cons is too depressing and uh, too dark of a theme and some people think that the uh the writing is too flowery. Um, I enjoyed the book, be and basically, I looked I looked up the author, and he is uh, a World War II vet, and you could tell in those stories that his experience in, um, or into it, and even if he doesn't think that he did that, but he, I think he did that subconsciously. The next book I read is Malice from the Shelf Space Book Club by John Glenn. That was the July pick. Um, the prose keeps you on the edge of your seat, easy to follow battle scenes, and lovable characters like Corbin and his sister Kyron. Siren? I forget how, you, how you're supposed to say it. Um, but I really like those two characters, and I hopefully be able to get to more books of the series the the cons are too many characters point of view a lot of people even in the discord had issues of like of the so many characters at once but as you kept going it didn't really matter the ratio to male and female characters is seven to one and for some the writing is too simple for them but like this is if you if you want to get into um, fantasy, I th I think this might kind of work. But but like I suggest more Brandon Sanderson first if you're in, trying to get into a uh, fantasy. Okay, I digress. Um, Dead Witch Walking was a Patreon book pick for for August with beautiful bookish Bethany. Um, we they I they chose um the Deadwood Walking and the pros vampires witches uh, fairies pixies and demons the cons it kind of didn't age well and there was slut shaming and fair attraction to women but like at the same time the the novel uh was poking fun at those. The, that genre of of that genre of um, of the book um, it, it was really interesting it was really fun to read I will definitely be reading more in this series the uh, midnight Sun uh, the live show and I'll I'll link down the bottom the live show to to it so you guys can um, see see that on um, on Bethany's channel uh, and I also will be linking the um, the tribe that the um, where the book is based in and so, so that you, so if anyone's so so that you guys can um, donate there because um, Stephanie Meyer is taking all the proceeds and not giving not like taking the money away from them and they need the money so that they can move their um move 
move to higher ground because because uh, it's near the coast and the coast is eating away and, and plus it's hurricane like say like a hurricane comes and the, the whole whole place would be their whole living will be devastatedly lost so they need the money so they can move up to school and and, and things like that uh the pros is the more background of the Collins. Um, I everyone really in in enjoyed that. Um, cons. It's what not to do in a relationship. It is basically a guide of what not to do in a relation in in, in a relationship. And word is so power problematic. He's a stalker. It's um I'll I'll go more into it. So it's the has hashtag Auntie Edward Auntie Edward uh Carsley compared to God. Rehashing the same stuff in the in the first book. Um Stephanie Mara shows her that she has not changed her racist tendencies uh prof uh like i said earlier she's profiting off of the, the koya tribe and miss and represent and misrepresenting that their, them um hi i'm i'm done with stephanie meyer washed washed out with her like especially after the read reads i don't know what are the problematic things in the host um i'm not going to be buying anything from her and if i'm going to read anything would be either through the library or any other way that she will never get the money um i'm not can <laughs> i don't really cancel authors i just find different uh, authors and artists uh, just find a different way to um, read their material or see their material with, where they don't get the money. The next one I read, The City We Came by N. Wait, N. K. Jemerson, Prose Set in New York and Human Avatars. That's like the really coolest part. And um, the cons, it's confusing. Like legit, like I actually had to have the audiobook, which is I personally think was amazing, and physically and physically read it. I had a, I got a the ebook for it along to read along with it, so I can focus. And I still was sort of confused, but um, but yeah, uh, anti calamic. It 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 just didn't like it it. it you, you you build it all up and then it was like like cha like built up and then you don't fall you it's just like ooh, doop, doop. yeah um uh some people think there was lots of telling not showing um yeah, the next one is The House in the Swimming Sea by TJ Kloon. Pros, gay romance, magical, unique children, explains the dangers of prejudice and hate towards what you fear and don't understand. It really does speak volumes of what's going on today, What and, um, and you can interconnect it with Black Lives Movement. You can interconnect it with the LGBTQIA plus, um, he, like just being a human being, and it just show, shows you. It, it was a hug, such a hug of a book. I, it's it's one of my favorites of the year. Um, it's such an amazing book, and I just love it. Um, the cons is the characters are perhaps too perfect um even the one character Lu like lucy and especially when it yeah like things could be like give a little maybe have um the main the main uh the main character uh gravel a little bit more when you when you a little bit just a little home before dark by regus Riley Sager, another one that's going down on my fa favorites. 
Um, if anyone who wants, it's not really horror, it's more like a thriller, but if someone who wants to get into closest to the horror genre and is new and is kind of, and sort of a scaredy cat, this may work for you. Uh, the pros are super, it's super atmospheric. The atmosphere of the book is everything. You, you feel it, especially with the um, father's book into the book, which is, that's really cool too. Um, the main, the cons are the main character is a bit childish, a little bit. Um, the next one is Desperate Me Measures by K.T. Roberts. I read this with, as, on, with Inna from Life Has Patronage has a Discord. And, um, that was one of the things that we, we could read together. She read ahead of me. She, she was ahead. Um, but, like. I shared my thoughts in the disc in the Discord section of that, and I had a great time with with it. Um, different take on what it is Jazz if Jasmine was with Jafar. It takes that story that you we all know from Disney, and flips it on flips it on its head, and add in like sax and. Like the first couple, of, the first chapter, like a couple of chapters, like legit is steamy. What um Steph uh with with Steph, what I would personally would add with it's just anyway. The next one is the the cons, and I personally don't like the daddy and baby girl kink, like. Especially when the guy says "baby girl," and then I keep thinking like, like a little girl, and, and no, I'm not into. I'm not really into that. But like, it didn't take me away from the story because I enjoyed it so much, and it didn't take me away. But like, it's it's not my thing. Um, if anyone wants to put in the comments, what what are some really good uh, ones that don't do the daddy kink? That'd be great. Uh, cause I'm out of touch with my romance, and I would like, if you if you know, just write down in the comments box. Um, Sword of Destiny, which was the part of the Wishers. It was the last uh, short stories one, and then the next one I'll be able to read at some point will be the, um the full novel, and the prose is adventures. Um. Angsty romance and there's mermaids in this one. I enjoyed it. that was it was really cool. Um and incomplete moron morons everywhere. Like legit everyone was like a complete moron when I thought. And then I reread Eclipse and Breaking Dawn and I have here nope. And then I'll put the links of the live show from Bookish Bethany on in the description box. Um and then I did uh Courts of Thr uh, Thrones of Roses, which was a, a huge buddy read. Um I'll leave Inya's from Life's a Page Turner um in the the announcement video in the description box with the disc she will have it on there and that video she'll have the link to the Discord and everything. And um it was just a fun reread. There, I have no pros and cons with that. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, what I'm currently reading. So, I finally did the research. And I'm participating in the Touch of Whim Whimsy, the Alice in Wonderland read all month reading along. Or all month reading, like, read along thing. And it's by Alexander... Jill Roslin and Caitlin Abridged. They're the two creators, and the co host is uh, Ga um, Gavin from H How to Train Your Gavin and Jade from JB Reads. And they're <laughs> it's so much fun. If you go to any of their, I'll link the two main um, 
the two creators in my description box and I posted I put po and I'll have linked down there their uh, announcement videos and in there in their description box there's gonna be their discord and their discord is really amazing I love it uh, excuse me um I have fun there. There's reading sprints. I'm, I read. You read with people. You don't feel like you're alone. It's really, it's really cool. And I think there's even a like. I think that's her like book club in there. Um, in there as well. And I think they. I'm not sure. I forget which one they picked for that the next book read. But I know what um their current one was. Um, School of House and good and evil um so the books I'm, I know for a fact I'm going to be reading the the green glass house for the treasure cat um prompt and the train and the possible books one and two I have I'm gonna be reading those and I have to read the I have to read those books soon because the sixth they go back to the library and I'm not sure if it's going to be renewed or not, so I really want to read them. Um, I'm also still reading why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. Um, I'm gonna going to do a, like, either I'm thinking of doing a whole other video of my nonfiction while I'm reading, or... Um, do the whole pros and cons and have another another section of what I'm learning. And that will be like my nonfiction. Well rather whether it be history, non uh or true crime, which I really more like, but like I take I take forever to read nonfiction, but I'm reading it. Um And I plan on reading reading Just Mercy, the movie tie-in edition. And it's gonna be an audiobook. I'm also gonna be reading that. Um Winter Song by SJ Jones and um Patreon Pick with Beautiful Big Bookish Bethany, A Sense and Susceptibility by Jane Austen. And going to be reading The Poppy War by RF Kwong, the, the second option buddy read with self speech book club please please join it it's the best it's the best book club you could ever be in you there's amazing people Je, um jesse's a great is such a great person she's she, she's great i'll have um the link to the newest um announcement video and and I'll link the Discord in, in the description as well. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. And please, like, like, if, like, please put the like button because I know you liked it. And please subscribe if you're so inclined. And the emoji I want you to put would be the nails like paint nail painting emoji and in just in, in the comments box if you don't feel like commenting a long comment thank you for watching